Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and I have a really neat review for you today. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever seen one of these before, but this is this is a brand new brand new player on the field. In fact, I don't think it's available for sale just yet, but uh, I got one of their uh, early release uh, models. This is the Maker Fire FPV 300. It's a 300 size, 300 class, which means the length from tip to tip of the props uh, millimeter in millimeters. 300 millimeter class uh, FPV racer. Um, it includes an FPV camera, uh, also a mount that you can mount your own camera onto. Um, it includes on-screen display, so you can see the parameters of the quadcopter, and you will see what those parameters are because I'm going to record that screen. Um, it includes barometer altitude hold, supposedly. It is programmable you, or configurable, if you wish, using clean flight software. Um, I haven't done such. I just got this out of the box. I want to fly it right out of the box just the way I got it. And then after that, then we'll play around with uh, configuration on this. Um, since this is a brand new model, it did not have instructions. <laughs> so I have no idea what these switches do other than I've, I've been able to figure out how to lock and unlock. Right now, I threw the switches last night and didn't seem to do anything. Um, and I haven't gone into the configuration software yet to modify the configurations. So we're going to fly it first the way it comes right out of the box um, uh, without any modifications. Let's go over the quadcopter real quick and then we'll go over the transmitter. Again, it's 300 millimeters. It's both carbon fiber, very strong carbon fiber, and plastic. Um, it comes in four different colors. I picked the blue model. They have uh, red, uh, white, and black. Again, it has a FPV monitor or FPV camera that comes with it. It's easily tiltable up and down. I put a lot of up tilt on it because I want to try to do some high speed flying. Um, I don't want to look at the ground. But it also you can mount on a run camera or any other uh, action camera onto this uh, mounting plate up here that has anti vibration uh, mounts. So I hope it'll reduce the jello. Um, again, it, it's 32 channel because it's five switch here, configurable FPV uh, frequencies that you can select through that. They're both scan capable FPV frequencies. Uh, I've tried it with my monitor here and it seems to work. Um, the battery on it, let's pull that out and show you that. You can use, you don't have to use their charger that comes with it. You can use a regular charger. It has a cable that attaches onto the front here that you can plug in to your uh, own third-party charger if you happen to have one. But it's 11.1 volt, 3800 milliamp hour battery. Um, should provide sufficient power for this particular quadcopter. It looks to be somewhat proprietary, and it is somewhat proprietary, so you, you probably will have to buy the batteries fr from them, unfortunately to go with this quadcopter to fit the form fit <laughs> of the battery bay as you can see here this is how the battery goes in and out slides in and connects um, other than that the size motors or well they're maker fire motors mark 2206 1900 kilovolt motors made in China is <laughs> of course uh, the props on this look to be well they are not uh, reversible, so so you can't fly upside down. They, I looked at that at first when I saw these, but then I see there is some, you know, uh, I believe camber in in these uh, props, so uh, they are not reversible props. So don't expect that. There's not a lot of info on this particular quadcopter, unfortunately, um, other than pictures that Baker Fire put out. So we're gonna try to find out some of that info today. It comes with a uh, Fly Sky rebranded uh, i6 transmitter. Um, again, I don't know what the switches do because I don't have an instruction manual and I, I didn't fit, fiddle around with the clean flight software before coming out here. I will do that before other flights, but I was able to figure out this unlocks the quadcopter and this locks the quadcopter. Uh, but looking at the on-screen display of this, uh, there are a lot of parameters and, and I threw the switches and they did not change the parameters that are available on the on-screen display. But we'll go over that as we fly here. Okay, I think that's about it. Let's go for a flight and see how this performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. Okay, we're ready to go. All cameras are rolling. I got three cameras, one in the uh, FPV monitor screen. I got a run cam running on top of there, and I got a camera on my hat <laughs> turning on the transmitter. 
Now this has an on-off button on the top there, and it also has an LCD screen on the back of it. I don't know if we will be able to read that out here in the sunlight. It doesn't look like you can read it out in the sunlight. Let me put it in the shade. Very difficult to read in the sunlight. So, but usually it says compass, barometer, out, <laughs> activate it. Um, I think we're ready to go here. Let me s see if we are recording. We have signal. And you can see some of the features that's available up there. We have uh, up in the upper left corner, we have the compass information. Again, we're disarmed right now. And that's about it. Let's go for a flight. Now, I'm going to fly line of sight, and I'll, but I will be recording the FPV uh, view for this for the first flight. Unlocking by going down and to the right. We should be ready to go. Let's do it. First flight. Now, it supposedly has altitude hold, but uh, I don't know how to activate it or if it's activated at all. Actually, the barometer probably just smooths it a bit. It does seem very smooth, though. But big. Okay, I'm this first flight. Let's bring it in slowly. Oh yeah, the, alti the barometer seems to dampen the uh, altitude changes on this. It's very, uh, very easy, easy flyer actually. <laughs> Big monster, huh? Before we open it up, we're going to fly it around slowly just to see what it does. Yeah, you can feel the out the uh, barometer helping to maintain the altitude a bit. I got a blast of wind there from the, uh, just a small blast of wind and it started to raise up a bit, so wind does have an effect on it. Hands off. Trimming it to the left. And trimming it forward a bit. Okay, we should be trimmed now. Let's bring it back down again. And bring it a little closer. Okay, okay, that's enough of a look at it. Let me check the battery voltage. Let me let it drift right about there. I'm gonna go check the battery voltage on my on-screen display. Landing it for a second here. What is my battery voltage? Where is battery voltage on that thing? Oh, 12.0 12 volts. Got plenty of voltage. Okay, this time we're going up and speed it up a bit. Let's see how it flies. Going around. And let's put some pitch on this thing. Oh yeah, it's fast. <laughs> I'm sorry, let that thing go. <laughs> Feels good with the settings right out of the box. I don't think I'm gonna mess with them. Feels real nice and smooth, eh? Whatever pitch settings they got in this, they got it set up nicely. I like it like this. It's a fun flyer, folks. Maker fire, new player on the field. Folks, new player, and this one's a good one. And I don't even have the instructions for it. <laughs> but just flying it right out of the box, it flies nicely. Skip that a little lower and skip the bushes. Give that bush a haircut. Yeah, 
Yeah, that, um, well, you can feel the, out it holds the altitude very well. Well, it doesn't hold it automatically. You know, there, there are some variances there. It, the barometer seems to be um, smoothing the altitude on this so you don't have uh, crazy up and downs. It holds it, you know, rather well. I like that. We're going to put a barometer on this. I'm going to pass it. i got to check my battery voltage again. I'm not flying line of sight because I want you folks to see this and I don't have my wife here to keep the camera pointed at it. Okay, let me check the voltage. Coming back over again. Let me put it over here a bit and put it up and hover. Okay, let me check that voltage. 11.2, we got some power. We got some good flight time on this then. Let me bring it in so you can see it again. Really nice lights on this, uh, blue and red. Nice and Christmassy. Christmassy, huh? How about the punch? People want to see the punch, ready? Wow. <laughs> Plenty of punch. Want to see that again? Bring it in. Ready? People went up. Mega punch on this. This is a cool one. I like it. One more time. Ready? <laughs> I'm having a blast with this one. Bring it one more time, one more punch. Hell, a lot of acceleration on this thing. How's my voltage? I'm gonna check again. Okay, let's put you right in the hover right about there. 11.1, we're still good. So let's go. Some more riding over the bushes. Great quadcopter maker for our good job. Very nice quadcopter. It's this one. <laughs> I love this quad. I'm not messing with a config on this. It's good as is. Oh, love it. Come back down here. Okay, we're gonna land it. it got car, I got a, no, that, that car's going away. I thought uh, there was some desert, dirt bike riders out here today, but there's not. Okay, that's enough. I should land it now. I've had a blast. Let's bring it down to earth. Kerplop. What's my voltage? And it locks itself. Still plenty of voltage on that thing. A lot of flight time with it. Excellent. Okay, it's locked. Powering it off. Oh, hold it down to power it off. And turning off the camera. Oh, I hope that came out. That should be really cool video. Well, that's it. The camera's off. Hope all my cameras recorded. Sometimes I forget to turn one or two on and that screws up everything. <laughs> but this is the Maker Fire FPV 300. This is one cool quadcopter, folks. I mean, really cool. I enjoyed the hell out of it. I gotta fly this a lot more. Um, I'm speechless, actually. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.